showed why they are among the best in the world. Then, it was up to the judge to select three top dogs. The veterinary surgeons who are supposed to come for the skin seminar to please uh, come to the seminar location so that we can uh, begin immediately. We are going to start in another two minutes time. Hello. On behalf of Small Animal Veterinary Association, SAWA, welcome you all to the continuing continuous professional program. We are organizing a seminar and workshop on canine dermatology. We are honored here to have amongst us a distinguished speaker, Dr. Charles Chen. Dr. Charles has uh, done his Doctor of Veterinary Medicine DVM from Taiwan in 1982. He has done his Master's of uh, Science in Biomedical Materials from Taipei Medical University in the year 2005. He is the founding dipl diplomat of Asian College of Veterinary Dermatology. He is the president of the Asian Veterinary Specialist Center Dermatology and Allergy. He is vice president of Asian College of Veterinary Dermatologists. He is also the president of the Asian Society of Veterinary Dermatology. Dr. Charles has a vast experience in various clinical research areas involving antifungal agents, pyoderma, veterinary endocrinology, clinical efficacy of dermatological medicine. He is accredited to a vast number of international presentations, lectures, and research papers. Dr. Charles' topic today shall cover three main areas. The first will be new concept of canine atopic dermatitis. Second, what you see is not what you see, that is dermatophytes. Lastly, we will be having a workshop on skin scraping, fungal identification and making an imprint spare. Now I would like to invite Dr. Charles Chen to take over. Dr. Charles. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> the first of all, I'd be like to thank the the, the 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 affair to invite me to India, and this is the second time I'd be in India. I'd be glad to hear and to share our experience from Taiwan or from South Asia country. And the first and the first I would announcement is we have an Asian meetings and which will hold in Bangkok this May and. I sent this information to the uh, dog spot, and I wish they can put on the website for everybody. And another, we have a, a international, the World Congress of Veteran Dermatologists, which will hold on next year's in Canada. And in the table, the re <coughs> registration table, there has a uh, brochures people can get there and you can send the email to the committee they will send you the second announcement and etc etc okay. okay today my first topic will be the new concept of canine atopic dermatitis and all my talk is according to there has an international task force of canine atopic dermatitis and we published uh, the task force and we put in the veteran dermatology, the journal of veteran dermatologies and also we translate many language such as Chinese, simple Chinese, traditional Chinese, Japanese and I wish everybody can go to the internet to search it and there's the original copies of the English and this this topic will all according to the evidence-based medicine. So if there's a lack of evidence-based medicine, we just suggest people can use it, but we will not strongly recommend people to use this kind of medicine. Okay, then what is the atopic dermatitis? Atopic dermatitis, if you want to know what is atopic dermatitis, actually, you just know how to diagnose it, then you should know what is atopic dermatitis. And how to diagnose is the first one, we, sorry, we will according to the history, physical criteria, and we exclude to relevant different 
differential diagnosis. If it is itching, we must differential diagnosis. The dog's itching is related to something. I believe in India, also in Taiwan, most itching cases shall be related with free allergy, but not only atopic dermatitis. Of course, atopic dermatitis should be accompanied with free allergy. In my experience in Taiwan, I believe 80% itching cases is related with free allergy. Of course, those free allergy cases, some cases, especially if the dog is a golden retriever or a Labrador retriever, we will consider the dog also has atopic dermatitis. So maybe people say, hey, I can do a skin test or serum IgE test, then I will know if the dog is atopic dermatitis or not. But actually, this is in inappropriate, okay. Because the, <clears throat> the either serum test or skin test is, is a reference to tell us the dog probably has some higher IgE level, but the dog probably is not really, uh, the, the itching dog is not induced by those allergens. It's just a reference. Maybe we need to do hyposensitization. Then we need to know if we, we diagnose this completely and very carefully the dog is really atopic dermatitis. Then we, if we want to do hyposensitization, we want to choose the allergen, then we test for skin test or serum IgE test. The only diagnosis value, diagnosis value, not a therapeutic value, is we need to differentiate the canine atopic-like dermatitis. This is a new disease. Recently, we found many dogs, the clinical features of the dog is completely like atopic dermatitis. But when we test for serum IgE, there's no response. So this is a, a new disease we call canine atopic-like dermatitis. And for the physical criteria, there has, uh, since many years ago, Dr. Tom Wedensis from Utrecht, let, uh, Holland, he set up the criteria. This is a diagnosis criteria. The dog must itching. And the facial, the digital should be involved, like notifications on the flexor service of the tarsus or the extensor service of the carpus, like this picture show. Also, the major criteria is a chronic or chronicity relapsing dermatitis. And individuals of familiar family history of atopic atopy. <clears throat> Also, it's a breed predilection. <clears throat> For breed predilection, if you read the Bible wrote by Dr. George Muller, Robert Kurt, and Dennis Scott, they say those breeds are predilected to atopic dermatitis. However, I believe the disease has their varieties. It's, difficult, it's different from the country to the country, from the continental to the continental. So in Taiwan, I found those breeds are more predilected to atopic dermatitis. Of course, some breed is not available in Taiwan. It's not a popular breed. So there's no, there's impossible to find a, a, a very rare dog has atopic dermatitis. And for the minor criteria from Dr. Tong Wei-Lian says, all the signs should onset before three years of age. And the dog also has a facial erysema, and the deep is also has some inflammation reaction. And the dog has a bacterial conjunctivitis, a superficial staphylococcus pyoderma. The dog has a high 
hyperhidrosis. The dog always has very sweat and very wet. When you touch the dog, you can feel the, the moisture from the dog's body surface. And if we do some skin test for some allergens, the dog will get the reaction. Also, if we test for the blood test, we can find some IgGD and IgE will activated. And if we, according to the criteria, in the major criteria, we find three signs fixed with the criteria. Also, there has another three signs fixed with the minor criteria. Actually, we can diagnose this dog has atopic dermatitis. But however, the tone within says criteria is sometimes is very difficult because it's difficult to do the skin test. And the lab cannot measure the IgGD or IgE. It's difficult to have the evaluations in our clinic. So another doctor is Dr. Pascal Prelaud. He made another criteria. First, of course, it must be itching. And bilateral regions of the plantar surface of the interdigital space of the front paw. Actually, in my, my situation, I saw some dogs also has four paws, they have the same lesion. Of course, the, the onset of the lesion between six months and the three years of age. Also, they have the peribocal erysema, all erysemas of the medial surface of the pinna. And there's an anitis. This is a, it's a, it's a weird English. I ask my, my American colleague and they say, oh, that's a new English, it's made by the French. It means the anal has inflammation, okay? <laughs> and you, can you cannot find the English in the dictionary. And the recurrent dermatitis for greater than two years. So the dog maybe always come for pyoderma within the, these two years, and after that, the dog shows some itching lesions. 